Hi, this is Yaroslav from ShareMatch.com and today we're going to take a look at uh, SharePoint Designer 2013. So we're still in preview so things might change by the time the product is, is released but here are some of their early thoughts around the, the product. So SharePoint Designer hasn't evolved much, that's the summary of today's screencast and we'll, we'll take a look why. So you can see definitely the UI is a little bit different, uh, there's a bit of a, a new look and feel in a ribbon. Uh, the rest of the, the, uh, the uh, UI looks ex pretty much exactly exactly the same. There's uh, uh, side objects on the left here. The main pane is on the on the right. So let's glance through some of the uh, some of the options here. So team site still offers general information around uh, you know permissions. Pretty much all of the same options. Lists and libraries same idea. You can create you know save list as a template. Create an external list, regular list. Workflow. So that's one of the areas that I thought that is going to personally I thought was going to be improved quite significantly. It hasn't improved that much. There hasn't been major changes here. I mean, I can still pick a list of document libraries. I can create a workflow, design services launch, and uh, I can drag and drop some of my activities. Now there has been some of the new actions uh, added uh, to the SharePoint Designer. Uh, from in terms of interaction with Visio, uh, that still remains the same. I don't know about you. I haven't personally used that. SharePoint Designer is one of those controversial tools where you know it's it's not really for end users, but it's for sort of for power users or developers. So uh, obviously developers are not going to use the whole Visio uh, diagramming and importing into the SharePoint Designer. They're probably going to go right into the SharePoint Designer, and even then, it's a bit of a weak tool. So if you need to create, if you if you have a need for powerful workflow you're probably going to be using a, a third party tools or or visual studio so not sure how this whole visio integration how the team envisions all that which which brings me to another point a lot of uh, a lot of visual designers have been using a sharepoint designer to configure user interface obviously you can you can't edit uh, some of the pages as easily uh, through the SharePoint UI directly as you could from SharePoint Designer. So a lot of designers were using SharePoint Designer to actually access their uh, style library and CSS and master pages and modify those those assets. So one of the things that um, there's a huge uproar right now on the internet is uh, that uh, if we go ahead and uh, added the, um, the master page here in this case, there is no design view, there's just a code view. And that is really unfortunate because um, it's not you know whatever the reasoning is um, I, don't, I don't think Microsoft have released the official reasoning behind this and maybe that's not the final state of the product but it's not so much that people were using this design view to actually uh, view the end result of their design as just to be able to quickly pinpoint different locations within the code wh which locations they want to work so for instance if I see the navigation menu it's easier for, for me to just to click on a navigation menu uh, and and have a highlighted block of let's say that navigation menu or the logo then then look for it here uh, obviously it's going to be easier for developers to find what they're looking for than than for advanced users let's say or just regular users and again it kind of conflicts with the concept of making the workflow design experience easier, almost available for end users, and then making the design, the page design uh, experience almost almost impossible unless you're a developer. So whatever the reasoning is behind it, we'll probably hear more about it, but that's one thing that's missing here. Now what I try to do, um, obviously, uh, is see if, I, if this is just an option that can be enabled, disabled. So after parsing through a registry and uh, also some of the uh, PowerShell settings on the web application, I wasn't able to find anything that will turn the, the split view or the, the design view on. I was able, however, to download the uh, SharePoint Designer 2010 here and surprisingly when you download 2010 Designer it actually takes all of the settings from the 2013 Designer so I had this team site opened and I have never opened it before but it just opens just fine and uh, I can actually view and browse through the same sort of constructs here and the funny thing is that when I click on uh, to edit the page here I can actually see the design and split view but it's disabled, so there's nothing rendered. So more and more after, especially after this, I think that it's it's not really a matter of just disabling something on the site. It's actually that functionality has been somehow um, altered within within actual uh, SharePoint Designer DLL or or executable. So you know, thinking that it was just a toggle on and off, uh, less and less I think that's the case. So. Um, 
let me close this particular designer, the old one, the 2010, the current one, and switch back to this one. So from from the rest of the user interface is pretty much the same you know you have your site assets content types site columns that was always there uh, external content types is there i was trying to create a content type earlier today unfortunately it just didn't work for me i'm sure this is some sort of a disconnect between uh, you know the, the preview version between the sharepoint and and the, and the tool here but we'll probably expect that to be uh, released by the time the rtm comes in terms of data sources and creating new types of data sources, nothing changed here. Again, you can create uh, SOAP connections, um, you know, create a linked data source and, and feed that data source into things like data view, web part, and etc. Uh, nothing changed here. Master pages, just a different view into files. And uh, all sites is obviously your all sites. So not too, not too many changes in SharePoint Designer. It seems to be not a significant area of investment, potentially for right reasons. Uh, the, the audience for this tool is uh, is quite limited, although a lot of developers or user interface developers I know use the tool to get started, especially on the visual design, to get something quickly on the site and then port it over to Visual Studio. Uh, so, you know, if, if, the need, if the need is there, so let's say make some customizations on your development environment, port it over to Visual Studio and deploy it to the client. That was that was their preferred tool. Not sure how useful that SharePoint Designer 2013 is going to be if um, the design surface is not going to be there. Uh, nevertheless, um, you know, majority of uh, functionality is there, and potentially there are some couple of new things that are going to come uh, by the time product RTMs. So stick around for more SharePoint 2013 screencasts at my blog sharemuch.com or my YouTube channel.